Angelina's Christmas by Kathleen Hollibard and Helen Craig. Angelina's Christmas. Christmas was coming, and everyone at Angelina's school was working hard to prepare for the Christmas show. Angelina and the other children stayed after the, their lessons to rehearse and help decorate the hall. When Angelina left school, it was already dark outside. Large snowflakes were falling, and Angelina was so excited that she danced along the pavement. The cottages in the village looked warm and welcoming, with holly with on the door and Christmas lights shining in all the windows. But the very last cottage was cold and dark. Angelina peeped in the window, and saw an old gentleman huddled by a tiny fire. Angelina ran the rest of the way home and found her mother and little cousin Henry in the kitchen. She asked her mother about the man who lived all alone in the cottage. Oh, that Mister, no, oh, that Mister Bill. Her mother replied, "He used to be the village postman, but he's too old to work now." Angelina decided that she wanted to make a Christmas surprise for Mister Bell. So Mrs. Mouseling gave her some dough to make biscuit shapes, like stars, bells, and trees. Henry had a piece of dough too, and he made a nice big Father Christmas biscuit. Look, he said proudly, "I'm going to see Father Christmas tonight and give him this biscuit myself." Father Christmas only comes very late at night. After everyone's he's gone to bed, Angelina explained. Why don't you leave your special biscuit and a plate for him? Henry started to cry. No, he shouted. I want to see Father Christmas. Don't be such a crybaby, Henry. Angelina scolded, but Henry wouldn't stop crying. The next afternoon, Angelina and her mother packed a basket with the biscuits, mice, biscuit, my, mine, mine's pies, and food for Mr. Bell. Do you want to help Angelina take the present to Mr. Bell? Asked Mrs. Messling, but Henry only shook his head. Then Angelina and her friend, father. Went out to find a Christmas tree for Mister Bell. Henry followed Angelina and Mister Mister Mouseling all the way to Mister Bell's cottage, but he still wouldn't speak to them. The old postman was amazed and delighted to see his visitors. He invited Angelina and her father inside, and then he noticed Henry standing alone in the snow. My friend," said Mister Bell with a smile, and he picked up Henry, Henry up, and brought him in the near the fire. Mister Bell's eyes were bright and twinkling. "Wait here a moment," he said, and disappeared up the stairs. Then he came down, looking just like Father Christmas. This is the, the red costume I wore. Once, when Father Christmas needed someone to take his place at the village Christmas party, and Mister Bell was a chuckle, and he sat down with Henry on his knee, while Mister Mouseling made tea and Angelina decorated the tree. Henry listened to Mister Bell's stories. I used to go out on my bicycle, no matter what the weather was like. To deliver present to all the children in the countryside. One year there was a terrible 
snowstorm and all the roads were covered with snow. I had to deliver the toys on a sleigh. And if I hadn't glimpsed the village lights blinking in the distance, I would have been lost out in the storm. Henry listened with wide eyes. <coughs> When it was time to go, Henry reached into his pocket. I made this, he said, and I'd like to give it to you. Out of his pocket, he took his big father Christmas biscuit and gave it to Mr. Bell. That is the best Christmas surprise I've had got for many years, said Mr. Bell, thanking Henry and Angelina for their presents. Angelina said she wished Mr. Bell would come to her school, show in his father Christmas costume. That would be a pleasure, he said, smiling. Mr. Bell kept his promise. He came to the Christmas show in his red costume, watched Angelina and her friends dressed as sugar plum fairies, dancing the Nutcracker Show. Later, all the children gathered round Mr. Bell, and Henry felt proud as Mr. Bell handed out the Christmas present and entertained everyone with stories about his adventures as a postman. Mr. Bell was never lonely at Christmas again. Because every year he was invited to come to Angelina's school show, dressed as Father Christmas. The end of the book, Angelina's Christmas. Story by Catherine Hallibird and Helen Craig.